The following is brought to you by Element 14, the electronic design community where you can connect and collaborate with top engineers from around the world. Join now at element14.com. Hi, I'm Ben Heckendorn. Today we're going to be doing an unboxing of the TI Robotic System Learning Kit. They sent us several configurations. We're going to take a look at each one, how they relate to each other, and see what's inside the boxes. All right, let's get started. Quantity One Maze Edition Basic. Hmm, okay. Well, it's a, it's a box of parts. What is this? Hmm, user safety guidelines. So this is basically a bunch of safety information. Uh, tubing, robot chassis. Oh, uh, Pololu, that makes sense. They make a lot of cool robot kits. Some wheels, a whole bunch of spacers. Looks like some sort of uh, driver board, unpopulated. Uh, breadboard, wow. Eight pack of rechargeable batteries. That's pretty cool. Some sort of, uh, oh, this is probably a uh, omnidirectional uh, third wheel for the robot. A bunch of uh, miniature snap action switches. Pololu reflectance sensor array. Oh, this is probably how it sees the environment. A bunch of uh, jumper wires. And then finally, oh wait, there's two more things. Okay, looks like some contacts for the batteries. And then uh, MSP432 launch pad development kit. Ah, nice. Let's read about it. 256K flash, 14-bit ADC. That's pretty cool. Comparators, serial communication, and more. High performance with up to 48 megahertz CPU and a floating point unit. That's pretty cool for a microcontroller. And of course, it's optimized for low power, like all the MSP430 lines. Yeah, I wonder if this has, does this have wireless on it? That's, I'm gonna take a closer look. I'm not seeing any. We've looked at modules in the past from TI that are wireless, but this looks like pretty standard MSP430 development board. So you've got your MSP432 uh, on this side, and the other side acts as your programmer debugger. And, and then if you wanted, you could break these in half and then have a dedicated unit. Cool. All right, so that's the Maze Starter Basic Kit. Let's take a look at the robot in its assembled form. Now we're gonna take a look at a pre-assembled version of the robot. Wow, TI sent me this whole box. Let's see what's inside. It's a little robot. Hello, little robot. Well, this is the assembled version of the robot. Oh, what's this say? White is five volts, gray is ground. Oh, it's got, oh, this is probably an edge sensor, so it doesn't go off the edge of something. See that right there? Oh no, it's the edge, ah, right? So it pro it's probably bouncing light down and back up. Yeah, see how there's a pair on each one? That's pretty cool. Can we turn this little guy on? <gasps> it was gonna go right over the edge. No, don't do it, robot. Well, it looks like we have a breakout board down here for all the motor control. And then, is there a motor controller on it? There pretty much have to be, isn't there? And you've got all these snap action switches going to it. So this thing is meant to go through a maze. It's pretty amazing. But it doesn't look like it's programmed to do much right now. I wonder if, well, if it's going through a maze, why does it have the, um, the drop detector right there? I guess if any of those don't bounce back, it knows that it's reached the edge of a table. But can it find the cheese at the center of the maze? Well, cool, that's what the assembled robot looks like. TI also sent us a couple boxes, which contains the upgrade kit. Let's see what's in there. Newer kit SKU 43AC8496, part number, robot upgrade kit, hmm. RSLK Maze Edition EDU kit upgrade. All right, well, let's see what's inside of this. Hmm. What's this? Uh, looks like we have some longer range IR sensors here. Let's take a look at one of these. It's probably the mount for it. Oh yeah, that's definitely what that is. So this would act as a distance sensor. It would uh, shoot out a, a beam and then depending on how much IR it sees reflected back, that's how it knows how close it is to an object. That's going to be different from the detector emitters on the bottom, which are just gonna you know, see if the floor is there or not. This must attach to this somehow. That's probably what these screws are for. I wonder where this goes in the robot. What's this over here? Oh, it's some sort of small motor controller. It looks like there's, whatever these things are, there's transistors on them. Oh yeah, see right there? Little transistors. All right, so this is probably acting as some sort of like supplementary motor control. I mean, it'd be a pretty small motor because those are some small transistors. But, you know, you can use a transistor to just turn a motor on or off. It's not gonna be able to reverse itself. You would need four transistors for that. All right, so what do we got here? 
Uh, oh, Simple Link. We've run into this before. Yeah. And Wi Fi. So, yeah, they're just giving you some parts from Pololu for the robotics and then giving you more MSP430 boards for development purposes. Oh, this is nice. It's a quick start card. All right. What do we got here? Okay. Oh, yeah, this one just like so. Now you have Bluetooth low energy connection right here in this package. Oh, what's this? Oh, look, they give you an extra module, an extra Bluetooth module. See that? And um, some sort of jumper connector. Oh, it's a JTAG programmer. Oh, okay, so that's gonna be so you can program and configure the Bluetooth module. See that? It's got a JTAG, JTAG programmer. All right, so let's take a look at the Wi-Fi module. Cool. This kit contains a TI Simple Link Wi-Fi CC3120 internet on a chip device. It can be paired with any MCU. So this is gonna be like that other device we looked at where we had a uh, receiver and transmitter, so to speak, with the uh, microcontrollers. Okay, oh, so this needs to be used with, basically you can't use it on its own, you have to use it with the existing kit. So yeah, it looks like you'd have the option of Bluetooth or Wi-Fi here. So Bluetooth, it would probably make it pretty simple to control this. V oh, shoot, this power connector here is conflicting with those headers. Oh no, that's not good. Oh look, and then we have some spots here to attach an external antenna, that's pretty cool. But yeah, so you're gonna have a choice of Bluetooth or Wi-Fi with which to control your robotic system learning kit robot. Okay, so the upgrade pack gives you the option of Wi-Fi or Bluetooth. Okay, so that's been our unboxing of the TI robotic system learning kit. We'll see you online.